It's been an interesting process, especially for someone like me who comes from a background of being an archivist and not involved in political campaigning before. And indeed, a lot of the members of the National Council of the WikiLeaks Party come from really interesting and diverse backgrounds that bring a certain humanity, I think, to our endeavour. So we have a physicist, we have activists, we have mothers, we have young people, we have people of an older generation. And we've been working very hard since, um, well, certainly some members of the council since last year and then in earnest this year, to put together a party which I think is about addressing what is missing in Australian politics at the moment, which is truth, transparency, a sense of standing up to power, a sense of understanding for yourself what's actually going on. And if we look at you know the major parties that are going to be contesting the next election in September, um, is there much choice? Both of them sitting mainly on the right. Of course, we have the Australian Greens, it's true. But what we're doing is putting a candidate up for the Senate um, who has the most amazing track record of actually scrutinising and understanding information about what's happening politically, what's happening across the world and in Australia, and who certainly has demonstrated an ability to stand up for what's right. So one of our National Council members, Greg Barnes, spoke uh, last week in Melbourne about the party and, and about putting a candidate up for the Senate where what we've seen, rather than a house of review, it's become a house of deals. Well, the WikiLeaks party and Julian in the Senate will be against that and will be standing up for the Australian people. So we're very excited.